Um, so for the next section, you know, I think what we wanted to do in the second section is really continue this very discussion about where can this be used. And one of our partners who, you know, we have a lot of respect for because they have genuinely, in our opinion, in the last couple of years of talking to them, been thinking about connectivity in places where traditionally we don't think of it. And I think that's why we are, uh, you know, excited to hear their perspective in the context of everything we've just talked about. So I'm going to pass it on to uh, Cradle Point to come on and just offer their perspective. Um, and maybe before that, we'll do one quick snapshot. I'll let Mehmet yeah. give a quick coverage of what we are seeing as the device ecosystem. And then yeah. we'll go into the Cradle Point discussion. Perfect. How about that? All right. So, Perfect. Mehmet. So just uh, we talked a lot about the network infrastructure side. And of course, a crucial piece is the end user devices. There's a lot of activity there. Uh, just to set the ground for this, as uh, Ramin mentioned, there are other regions in the world that use this band for devices. But FCC has a certain uh, Part 96 requirement. There needs to be a certification associated with that. Uh, we are going into details of all the vendors and so forth. I'll just mention this link. There's, if you are interested in uh, the, the certified devices by FCC, it's a constantly growing list. But at very high level, it uh, is a diverse set of devices in different categories. It goes from routers, gateways, uh, to USB dongles and modules. And those ones are really interesting because they can enable many end devices that may not have LTE in it. Right? And there are many use cases from point of sale kiosks to uh, going more industrial use cases to IP cameras in hard to reach places, push to talk for peer-to-peer uh, -peer communication, uh, employee communication is another area. As I mentioned, smartphones and tablets are more associated with the operators right now. As they uh, start embracing this spectrum, you see a bunch of smartphones are coming. Uh, there are already uh, quite a few certified. And then there are the last category is industrial handhelds and scanners. So I don't want to take too much time on that. Uh, experts are here, so I'll let Cradle Point right. and Devang talk about it. OK, Great. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mehmet, for that kind introduction. And um, pleasure to be here. It's uh, my first time here, so <laughs> great to, uh, to see all the delegates here. And uh, I also come from the enterprise wireless background, so it's kind of nice to be on this side of the fence and learning a lot about cellular. So, uh, well, next. Uh, should I take this? Yeah. This one works better, I think. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so for folks that are maybe not familiar with Cradle Point, um, the company actually got started in LTE failover system. So essentially when your LAN goes down, the Cradle Point system would carry over the traffic failover seamlessly over LTE. That's how the company got started. Right? Since then we've evolved and we've grown into new markets, three in particular, IoT, branch, and the mobile network sector. So these are three categories where Cradle Point has a, a very strong market in. Uh, in fact, we're shipping over a million devices um, as of today. So. Um, and what's powering that is our NetCloud. So it's essentially a, a, a cloud-managed software service that enables very rapid deployment of, of our LTE gateways. Enables you to provision them, get um, cellular information about you know, the, the, the network backhaul and things like this, right? Um, what we're doing is our platforms <coughs> are supporting an integrated LTE modem. Um, and with this integrated modem, we're supporting private LTE. Right, so it's supporting the 3.5 gigahertz sp spectrum. And all the carrier certifications have already been done, so we're rolling this out next month, actually, to align with the ICD. Um, and we're seeing some phenomenal use cases. We're actually in 40 POCs right now as we speak, some of them in very mission critical systems and deployments uh, in North America. So. These are the actual use cases that um, we have actually got POCs in, uh, warehouses and logistics where you need very mission critical uh, granularity. So connecting, imagine a 
an Amazon warehouse, right, a massive footprint. And being able to, to connect <coughs> scanners or forklifts and th things like that is, is, is very challenging using traditional wireless. Um, and that's where uh, we've seen the private LTE use case come into play. Uh, another one is shipping ports. So uh, there's a large POC that we're working with um, where traditionally they were using Wi-Fi to connect cranes to pick up cargo containers. But unfortunately, because of some of the limitations of, of Wi-Fi and range and, and contention, uh, private LTE came in very nicely there. Um, and we're able to um, deploy um, over a large range, over kilometers, um, a few LTE E node Bs connecting to a create point routers in the cranes and actually uh, con moving camera uh, cranes remotely, which is which is great. Um, so so these are just some of the applications that we're seeing. Um, there's far and many, but um, um, we're also passing around some of the, the platforms here. So the other the other thing is from Crater Point's perspective, we see this as sort of the pathway to 5G because a lot of the quality of services and, and things like that, we can actually detect um, what's happening at the edge, right? If, whether, there's, whether there's contention at, at the edge and then pass that up, upstream to the e -node B or, or to the RAN uh, network. So we can essentially do a form of network slicing capabilities on a private LTE network today. So that's what I have to show. <laughs> Hopefully, any questions? Ah, okay. So, um, so this is actually to that point of quality of service. Um, as as we are deploying for um, for LTE, you know, connected devices and things like this, um, we can we can actually offer the the quality of service uh, from the device layer all the way to the to the RAN. Um, and so we can use QCI markings and things like that to effectively get provide very granular connectivity from the edge all the way to the cloud and to the RAN. So. Thanks. Thanks. Mm. Can I ask Thank you a question? Yeah. Um, so the the device is a CBRS client. Yes, it's essentially it's, it's a, a user equipment. Yeah, it's, it's like a CPE device uh, which we're passing around. But yes, it's it's a client device. So you actually have sensors or cameras connecting to to the, to this uh, uh, endpoint. And is that a a CBRS dedicated radio, or is that part of just your cellular? It, uh, radio it, it does support all the other bands um, as well as CBRS. It's a standard Qualcomm chipset yeah. that covers all the bands. So okay. a CBRS band is included in 948. Right. Included in and we are, we are supporting sort of global. So band 40 is US, but then in Germany there's band 42 and other, other channels that support private LTE. So we are certifying for other regions um, as we've seen this. Is that a net new card, or is that is that a net new radio, or is that going to be existing shipping radios? It's a net new radio, so yeah, it's a new modem chipset that's embedded in the platforms. Yeah. So just so I'm clear, yeah. that Cradle Point device, the use case would be that would connect via CBRS back to a CBRS access point, right. and provide wired or Wi-Fi connectivity to clients in the vicinity of the Cradle Point with the CBRS backhaul. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. We searched extensively to find a second source that does what Cradle Point does for us. It's nothing like it. It is absolutely the go-to place, the brand. We are not cousins or anything, right? But it is really no, a fantastic. Not that I know of. It's a fantastic product. They have the solution. They're right on top of their game, uh, and we use it currently. It's very effective. Yeah. Hey, send us half the bill for this. In yeah. <laughs> So Thank you. I, I don't know if this is a cradle point question or a Solana question or just in general. Um, Anything is cool. yeah. uh, Authentication of devices to my network. I'm an enterprise that owns this. We're used to dot one X authentication yeah. Yeah. Right. and things like that. Uh, how do I deploy a network to make sure my neighbor's not jumping on it? Right. So one is exactly. the, one is the SIM part, right? Yeah. You know, so obviously we have the SIM connectivity on, on, on so that you have, you know, 30 years of SIM uh, enterprise grade security from, from that piece. And then, of course, there's the authentication on the, on the mobile RAN side, right? So that maybe you want to explain on the. Yeah, the actually, thing. it's a very good segue to the uh, other part of the yeah. presentation. It's actually the perfect okay. segue yeah. to the next thing because what we often find is people think of, okay, you did LTE, that means it's a new radio technology. Yeah. No. But the reality is, so. uh, it's the next section, what we're going to talk about is there's obviously a lot more than just a new radio technology. 